In this tutorial you will learn to write a basic and very simple program, or VI in LabVIEW. I will provide you with the basic information regarding the blocks and palettes. The first program uses just string constants and indicators and the second program is to do simple addition and subtraction. At the end of each program I have given some exercises and are left for the reader to do it by themselves to make their concepts clear. Introduction to Programming We have already discussed some of the basic concepts about LabVIEW in previous tutorial. Let's now move towards programming. Writing a program in LabVIEW is way more simpler than writing the program doing the same functionality in any other programming language. You need not to learn any of the coding skills or syntax. All you have to do is to make a block diagram and run it. A LabVIEW program is known as a virtual instrument, VI. In the entire upcoming tutorials, I will use VI instead of LabVIEW programs. When you create a new VI in LabVIEW it will show two windows, one for block diagram which serves for the functional graphical code and other for front panel which serves as the user interface. You build the block diagram of the required task using controls, input devices, and indicators, output devices, in the block diagram window. The front panel is a user interface and the output of your block diagram is displayed on the front panel which includes all the controllable inputs and all output devices. Let's move toward the programming now. Now let's see how to write your first program in LabVIEW. Now open LabVIEW and create a new project as shown in last video. When you create new project, you will get these two windows front panel and block diagram. Right clicking on anywhere on the front panel gives a drop down menu, known as control palette, and right clicking on block diagram also gives a drop down, known as function palette, from which we can select the and indicators and place them on the front panel. A control placed on front panel will automatically appear on the block diagram too. In the similar way we can also place indicators. Placing indicators on front panel will automatically display that on block diagram too. The control palette and function palette contains almost everything one can use to interact with the VI and to display graphs or runtime values of a variable. Both these palettes collectively give an entire variety of controls and indicators. Every time you drop an item on the panel there is a corresponding terminal that appears on the block diagram. Clicking on the item in front panel will blink the corresponding item on the block diagram, and updating the value in either of the window will update the value in the other. In short both the windows are linked together. One can also resize and recolor any of these items to their liking, using the panel shown in the figure. The function palette includes different functionality drop-downs, including structure, arrays, clusters and waveforms as shown in the figure. Let's now create a very simple lab view program which will print hello. World on the front panel. From the control palette on the front panel select string and path and then select string indicator as shown in the figure. Placing this control on the front panel will also place a string control on the block diagram. Now in the function palette on the block diagram select string and then select string constant, and place it on the block diagram as shown. Hover over the string constant and double click to start a wire and connect it to the string control as shown in the figure. Now in the string constant write hello world. Now run the VI from the run button on the block diagram or press control plus R. The string indicator at the control panel will display hello world. This is the basic program used to understand the working of string constants and indicator and is used as a beginner's code all over the world. Now let's do a simple exercise to make this concept clear. Now for exercise try to display your name and address on two separate string indicators. See you in next video.